All right, in this video, we're going to talk about um, using power functions and the square root function. So before this, we've been using the arithmetic operators. There's five. We can multiply, divide, subtract, add, and uh, use uh, modulus to find the remainders. But unfortunately, there isn't um, there isn't operators that we can just simply you know raise a number to an exponent or take the square root of a number. So if we want to do that, though, um, we have to call functions from somewhere else that aren't part of our file here. So what we do basically is we have to use these pre-compiled functions um, in this place, you know, in this file that's called cmath. So what we want to do is we want to include another header file um, called cmath. There we go. And do that. So basically, previously we've just been including this IO stream, you know, to deal with input output stuff. Um, now we're going to include another file called cmath, which enables us to use these functions that someone else has built and saved there. Um, so we can take powers of numbers and square roots of numbers. So what we have to do here, say we want to, um, let's take the square root of a number. Let's just go, we want to see out, um, now what to do the square root, we can write sqrt. And then here it's saying, it's prompting us to write open bracket, double, close bracket. So let's do just that. Let's maybe put something easy, 9.0, something like that. Um, and then we'll just end the line. So when we compile this, um, then we want to run it. So let's see what we get. It's printing out a 3. So that's perfect. That is definitely printing out the square root of 9. So you can do that with any number. Um, say it wasn't as nice of a number. Maybe it was 45 or something like that. Um, we can just go ahead and try that and see what we get. The square root of 45 is apparently 6.7. So, you know, I think you get the point now. Um, the other thing we can do is, so that's taking the square roots of numbers, but if we want to raise one number to an exponent, like we want to square maybe, um, you know, some number. Let's say we have, let's say double x is equal to 9 or something like that, right? 9 seems easy. Um, we don't have to put 9.0 here because um, if we just say that the double, the type is double, then it sees this 9 and it says, well, yeah, okay, I see 9, but I recognize that it is a double. So even though we're not looking at the decimal places, it's capable, you know, it's not just, it's not the integer 9, it's like the real number 9 kind of. So anyways, or if you prefer, whatever, we can write 9.0. So um, now if we have that, what we want to do, the power function is just P-O-W, which is pow, stands for power. Um, and then it says open bracket, we want to put in a double, and then a comma, and then another double, and then a close bracket. So what this is basically is the first double here is the base of our number. So if we want to write 9 squared, we would write 9 here, comma, 2, because this is our exponent, so we put in the 2. So let's go and write that. So in this case, we want to raise x, you know, to the power of 2. So we go x, comma, 2 close brackets, put a semicolon, or I guess maybe end the line first, and then put a semicolon. Um, and then when we go and run this program, let's look and see what we get. Look, we get 81. So what it's done, it's taken 9.0 or 9, um, you know, and multiplied it by itself twice, or squared the number. So that's how you use the power function and the square root function. Um, just remember, if you are using them, uh, you have to include CMath. For example, if I don't write this here. Um, say we forgot to include CMath. Uh, when we go ahead and run this program, um, it highlights this and it's saying here, it says POW was not declared in this scope. You know, this is just an error. Uh, it's just the same as, you know, if we forgot the namespace, the standard namespace library, it doesn't know what C out is. Um, just make sure you have the appropriate header files for that.